Hello and welcome. I'm Taylor Gilmore, a Director of Product Management within our iTwin Services Group. And our goal today is to introduce you to our iTwin Design Review Ad Hoc Workflow, which is now included as part of our new ProjectWise 365 offering. And today we'll illustrate how it can enable your civil design teams to achieve faster review sessions on design work in progress. As we all know, reviewing design work in progress can often be time consuming, consuming and result in major headaches, especially for teams forced to rely on disjointed and manual workflows. For teams that design in 3D and review in 2D, intermediate steps like du duplicate design artifacts and printed 2D sheets can often cause inefficiencies and make communicating feedback difficult. Additionally, tracking changes and issues manually only increases these issues and opens you up to potential risk and design errors. As competition grows and remote work becomes commonplace, you need to advance how your team reviews design work in progress, and that's where our new iTwin Design Review ad hoc workflow comes in. Purpose built for peer reviews of design work in progress deliverables, our iTwin Design Review ad hoc workflow provides a unique web-based 2D and 3D design review environment. It enables your team to kick off reviews right from their native civil design applications like Open Roads and conduct collaborative review sessions from anywhere for faster reviews while minimizing intermediate steps, artifacts, and workarounds. For civil design teams, iTwin Design Review Workflow provides three key benefits. First, by initiating reviews from Open Roads and other civil design applications and enabling work directly against design models, your team avoids wasting time on intermediate steps like duplicate design artifacts, and 2D sheets. Second, by working in a common web-based environment with feedback readily available and traceable by all project participants, your teams can streamline collaboration and minimize the risk of unresolved issues. And finally, by working in an environment purpose-built for civil reviews, including capabilities like cross-section analysis and support for large linear design files, your teams gain further efficiencies by not having to rely on workarounds for common civil review workflows. To make getting started as simple as possible, we've made our iTwin design review ad hoc workflow available as part of our new Instant On ProjectWise 365 design collaboration solution. ProjectWise 365 provides a 100% cloud-based environment where, in addition to accelerating how your team reviews 2D and 3D designs, it enables them to readily share and find information as well as automate and manage contractual exchanges. Additionally, to support team workflows from home, we've waived subscription fees on ProjectWise 365 through September 30th of 2020. So if you're ready to leverage the iTwin Design Review ad hoc workflow, just reach out and we can get started right away. Now that you have an overview of iTwin Design Review's ad hoc workflow, we'd like to give you a real world example of how it can work together with Open Roads and other civil design applications to help your teams conduct faster design reviews. So in order to do that, two of my colleagues and I are going to collaborate. I'll be the project manager, uh, Derek Gray will be the roadway designer, and Samir will be our traffic engineer for the project. Derek will kick us off. So let's say that as the project manager, uh, Taylor has asked me to create a uh, review session uh, so that he can take a look at the progress on my uh, London Road project. So what I'm going to do here, right inside of Open Roads Designer, you can see under my Analyze tab, I've got this new comment icon. So as I press that, you'll notice it'll bring up iTwin Design Review right inside of my uh, civil authoring application or it, MicroStation 2 if you were in that. So if, right here I can create a session and what that will do um, is it will go ahead and create the iModel and create the session uh, on the fly. So I'll just give it a name, London Road Review. I'll add Taylor, uh, who's my project manager in this case, and I'll just click Next. Uh, it'll go ahead and process the I model and create the session. Uh, I'll just sort that by the latest created, and you can see there is the London Road review ready for Taylor. Now, because I added Taylor when I created the session, uh, it should go ahead and automatically send him an email. Uh, and as soon as he gets that, it'll have a link in that that'll connect him directly into this review session. So let's turn it back over to Taylor. 
All right, thanks, Derek. And I'm going to jump in here from the project manager perspective. After Derek's created the review session and invited me in, I'll receive an email notification that looks something like this. Uh, and all I have to do is click the link in the email and it'll open up my web browser. Now, again, I don't have it have to have any special software installed or any other additional steps to get started uh, just by Derek adding me in uh, and by clicking the link in the email uh, I can log into the application and get started uh, here I can see the design file that Derek was look, working on uh, is now available here through the web browser for me to review uh, I can see here if I look at the model tree that the entire project has been shared, including all of the reference files that Derek had included in his design session. Uh, and I can now start looking at the model and getting a closer look. I can do things like, you know, click on the alignment and see some horizontal curve information. Uh, when I select an element, I can see the property information down here in the bottom right of the screen, and I can drill in and get detailed information uh, that came from the design environment. So I'm going to zoom in here and take a look at this uh, bridge area. Uh, and actually, let me switch over uh, and look just at the 3D components of this design. All right, so now let me zoom in and I'm going to take a look at this bridge area. And I want to do a review of this. So I'm going to look at some of my review tools that I have. Uh, first, I want to take a look at some cross sections here. So I'll choose the perpendicular cross section tool. I'll select that alignment there underneath the roadway. I can see that this now opens up. I'll switch back to my top view. Opens up a perpendicular cross section based on that alignment there. And I can see uh, exactly what's going on with the approach and with the under record there. So I'm going to move this along the alignment. Take a look at a couple different areas. Take some slope measurements here of the side slopes. Look at the slope information. All right, clear those out. I'll take another look at one other location in the cross section view. All right, now I'm done with the cross section. I'm going to switch over and pull up my profile tool. And again, I'll select that alignment. Now I can see the second viewport opened up and I'm looking at the alignment. And I can see here as I mouse over, there's definitely a, a dip or a sag here underneath the bridge. And based on the slopes that I was looking at in my cross section view, I'm a little bit concerned about the drainage in this particular area. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a comment and I'm gonna share this back with Derek. Uh, select my new comment tool. Uh, just place a new marker in this area underneath the bridge. I'll give it a discipline of drainage. Uh, set the status to new. Uh, and I'll mention Derek here. Derek. All right. And I'll click add. And as soon as I save that comment, uh, it's now saved into the review session and it is available for Derek and all of the other participants uh, to see it and take a look. So at this point, I'll hand it back over to Derek to show him back within the desktop tools. So I'm working in my London Road project and I notice that I receive an email. So I go and check it and it's the uh, automatically generated email um, from Taylor's comment so I know that he's now made a comment uh, regarding me asking me as I can see here uh, to look at the drainage under the um, bridge so I'm gonna go ahead I was already in my file here working in this area so I'm just gonna bring up once again the uh, iTwin design review uh, and I'm gonna bring it up in app or right inside of open roads um, designer uh, I'm just, uh, this was the last session, of course, I created, so it'll remember that. So I'm just going to say open the last session. And I'm just going to, I see Taylor's comment uh, that he created. So I look at Taylor's comment. Uh, he's asking me to look under the bridge. He's concerned that it will not drain 
properly. Now I may want to know, okay, I wonder what it is he's, he's uh, actually concerned about here. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open the, uh, the profile for this. It's in view four. And I can see here um, that you can see here's the bridge shown on my profile. And we are in a sag um, in, this, um, in this general area right here. So I'm going to come over here and um, I'm just going to do an at symbol. And I'm going to reply back to, to Taylor. Uh, I'm going to say I've uh, looked at the profile and it is a concern. Um, I will do some uh, investigation and get back with a solution. Okay. And then we will um, put that in there as well. And so Taylor will be notified, of course, that I have done something. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change the status of this. Um, you can see here these are customizable, and these are just what we have on this particular one. And so I've not uh, completed it yet or closed it. I'm just going to change the status of that to um, check. Now, at this point, as I said, Taylor uh, should get an email um, uh, notifying him that we've made a change. So at this point, let's turn it back over to Taylor. All right. Thanks, Derek. Now I'm back in my web browser, and it's difficult to tell this since we're switching screens back and forth, but uh, this chat functionality is real time between the desktop application that Derek's in and the web browser that I'm in. Uh, so now that Derek's replied, I'll uh, instantaneously see in my comment list, uh, I see a uh, green unread indicator as well as the little at symbol in red indicating that Derek has replied back to me. Uh, so I'll click on this uh, and then I'll click again on the saved view to open up that entire viewport. And again, at any point, if somebody logs into the review session, they can click on this to get a, a full view of what that original saved view looked like that the original commenter was looking at. Uh, so I can see here Derek's replied. Uh, looks like he's still doing some investigation and he'll get back on a solution and he's updated the status. Um, so I'll just reply here quickly. And that reply will get sent back to Derek in real time. And uh, I'll just remember to uh, wait for an update from Derek on this particular item. Now, as I've been doing my review, I've also noticed uh, some other issues that I'd like to take a look at. And so if I zoom out on my model here, and I'm gonna zoom into this area here. I have some concern about these in treatments at the end of, uh, at this on-ramp and uh, off-ramp uh, and this gore area. So I'm going to take some additional measurements here. Check the distance uh, from the beginning of the gore to the beginning of the guardrail. Uh, then I'm going to take some slope measurements here. All right, so now I can see my distance measurement there um, and the slope information. And I'm a little bit concerned about this gap in the guardrail. Uh, so I want to create a new comment and bring in uh, our third participant that Derek mentioned, uh, Samir, who is our traffic engineer. Uh, so it's very easy to invite in additional participants in these review sessions. I'm just going to click on the participant drop down here and search for Samir. And I'll add him into the session and click Save. And when I do that, Samir's now been added into the session. He'll get an email notification, much like mine, that he can click on to open up the session. So I want him to take a look at this particular area here of the gore. And I'm going to take these measurements and include them in my next comment. And I'm just going to create a new comment here in the gore area. Guardrail in treatments. I'm going to mention Samir. All right, so created in a new comment that includes my measurements. I'll click Add. And now that's available for both Samir and Derek to look at, and I'll switch it over to Samir. 
Hi, thanks Taylor for the information. I see you've sent me an email in regards to our London Road project and it's in regards to our guard rail end treatments. So I'm going to go directly into the application and take a look at what comments you gave us. So this goes directly into MicroStation and from MicroStation I can access the iTwin design review workflows directly from this uh, window inside MicroStation. So as you can see, this is a, a dockable window. Um, I can have it outside floating. I can dock it. I can do all the standard type of activities I would do with a dialog box inside MicroStation. I can access this application by going to the Analyze ribbon and from there choosing iTwin Design Review. After logging in, I will be able to get to my project data. And in this particular case, Taylor has sent me a note as uh, I need to take care of these guardrail and treatments as a traffic engineer. So looking at this here, uh, he has uh, sent me a measurement. So um, looking at the measurement here, there's a uh, save view and I can go and take a look at these measurements. But knowing this, um, I already know what the end treatment requirements are going to be. So I can simply send a message back to Taylor and say at Taylor. Uh, please use the end treatments as specified. By the attachment and so I have an attachment that talks about how to handle these things um, as we change the distances. So at this point I can attach a file. I can certainly do a couple of other things like attach a sage view and provide some sort of a markup. But I'm going to go ahead and provide this as an, uh, a note and as an attachment. So I can go ahead and click on the uh, paperclip icon to get to my attachments. And from here, I can find my guardrail document. And it is ready to be attached. At this point, I can go ahead and click on send. This will now send an email to Taylor as well as provide a notification to him through the connection client. So. Now we'll switch back over to Taylor. All right, thanks Samir. And I can see I got my email notification here saying that he's replied to my comment that I left him. I can actually see exactly what he said here within the email, uh, but I'll go ahead and click the link and open it up in design review. All right, so I've clicked the link. It's taken me right into my web browser. I can see it's opened up right to this comment. Again, I can click on the save view. This takes me right in so I can see the original comment that was left. I can also see Samir's response here. It looks like uh, he's updated and advised that we're gonna use the in treatments in the attached document. He's attached the document, which I can open up here. Uh, so I'll just say, th thanks Samir. Uh, and that does it for this workflow. That all said, the iTwin Design Review Ad Hoc Workflow is ultimately designed to enable your design teams to conduct faster reviews. As you saw, the workflow eliminates intermediate steps and streamlines collaboration workflows and enables your team to work together from anywhere. These benefits are only heightened for civil design teams who can launch reviews from open roads and other design applications and leverage capabilities tailored for their civil specific workflows. If you're ready to take the next step, the iTwin Design Review Ad Hoc Workflow is available today as part of our Instant On ProjectWise 365 Design Collaboration Solution, which we're waiving subscription fees for again through September 30th of 2020. So don't wait. Visit Bentley.com and get in touch with one of our account executives to learn how your teams can get started today. Thank you for attending our webinar, and we hope you have a great day.